morning happy monday it's totally not morning either it's actually afternoon 1 37 and i am just starting to actually get ready for the day like i said in the start of this video this year has just been off just such a weird start and i've kind of been able to pinpoint why i've been in this funk for the last um couple weeks if not months at the same time i haven't really figured out how to get out of it so anyways i am feeling pretty good today so i thought that i would just start doing my makeup and just try and put like one foot in front of the other and start checking things off of my to-do list today so i am going to do my makeup even though it's already halfway through the day and this headband looks kind of ridiculous but i was recently sent it in um a pr package and so we're just gonna roll with it and start getting ready i do always feel better about my day and myself once i actually have some makeup on my face and can look a little bit more presentable and you know what the worst part is of all of this is i have started so many vlogs over the past probably like month or so i've started them i've even uploaded some of the footage and started to edit it and then I never even finish editing the video or touch the footage because I've just had such bad imposter syndrome lately. Just being afraid that my content like isn't original in any way and my life is like really boring and no one's gonna watch it or even care or anything like it's been bad guys okay. Um, so I'm gonna try and push all of those negative thoughts to the side because we really do not need that in our lives right now. By the way, I just used the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Liquid Foundation. It's my OG favorite. I think I've been using it since high school. Um, one of my New Year's resolutions is to start dressing up more often and like actually putting on a cute outfit, even if I'm like just running to the grocery store or doing errands or going to a coffee shop. I feel like the pandemic has just made me so lazy getting dressed or even like doing my hair and makeup and that's totally fine I mean I love being comfortable more than anything but at the same time I feel like it's just made me lazy and that's one reason why I haven't felt quite like myself like I used to pride myself in college on getting dressed for class and like putting on a really cute outfit and walking a mile across campus in my heeled boots. And with like the pandemic and working from home now, um, basically if I'm not taking pictures or like filming content, I'm like in leggings or sweatpants and I just kind of want to change that. Okay, makeup is done. Now the question is what the heck do I do with my hair today? I'm getting my hair cut on Thursday and right now i feel like it just looks so drab like all of the layers have just grown out and it could just really use a refresh okay i think i fixed the settings on my camera a little bit um this is the not so glamorous outfit of the day i just got in these um boyfriend sweatpants from aritzia they're the tna boyfriend fit i am obsessed with them and i have like the compulsive need that as soon as i get in new items i have to put them on right away so this is what we're wearing today and i also did my hair in just these little braids to feel like i kind of did my hair today also just quickly had to mention this video isn't sponsored by chamberlain coffee but i did just want to say thank you so much guys for sending me a pr package today that literally made my day i am not an at-home coffee person at all but amongst all of the coffee products they sent me there are these really cute like single use coffee bags oh, you guys can see it in here it's basically like a tea bag you know where you just steep it in here so easy to use you don't have to grind your coffee you don't have to measure it filter it anything like that you just pour hot water over over it and I used the early morning or early bird blend today and it was absolutely delicious I'm brewing some coffee in my fridge too to make iced coffee tomorrow so yeah anyways not sponsored they just sent me an amazing package and I wanted to say you guys made my day and hopefully this package and this coffee will get me through my little New Year's funk I just wanted to shout out really quickly Dossier because this is my absolute new favorite perfume, Florental Vanilla. I am obsessed. I've been wearing Dossier for probably like two months now. I guess I've made a little bit of a dent in the bottle. I swear I wear the scent every single day and love it so much. 
And the best thing about Dossier is that all of their perfumes are $29 and inspired by high-end luxury perfumes. So Florental Vanilla, which is my favorite, is inspired by YSL Black Opium. I also have Woody Sandalwood, which is inspired by one of the Le Labo scents. I believe it's Le Labo 33. But yeah, anyways, I literally wear this perfume every single day. Dossier has just become a staple to my getting ready routine. I do not leave the house without putting on a spritz of this perfume. I love it so much. And I also have a discount code that um, I'll put on here for you guys if you're interested. There's so many scents to choose from. I'm sure you will find one that you love, but if you don't, they do offer free shipping and returns to make sure that you love what you get. Okay guys, I just got ready to head to the gym and I just filmed a whole like get ready with me for Instagram so I don't have anything for here because it's like way too much to be filming with two different cameras at once but um here's a quick little gym fit of the day just wearing oversized graphic tee. Um, these are the Alpha Lee Amplify biker shorts just wearing a Gymshark sports bra underneath and by the way I just got in these socks from Aritzia and they are the perfect length to wear with Converse. They stop like right at the top of your shoes. So I'm just gonna drink my pre-workout and head to the gym. Really quick, I'm doing high volume squats today. I think I'm doing four sets of eight at like 60% of my max. I don't think I mentioned this before, but I started a strength training program at the start of January because I really wanted to work on my squat max this year. And then literally in week one, my knees started to act up again. I think I'm gonna go to a physical therapist, just get it checked out. I've had a bad knee ever since like high school when I did sports. I think I just messed it up and it's never really been the same again. So that's been kind of discouraging and annoying to have to work around, but I'm feeling pretty good today and just gonna take it really easy and work on my form so. Yeah, excited to get back in the gym. I'll see you guys afterwards. Hey guys, good evening. Wow, I am not looking my best right now. Um, but anyways, I got back from the gym just a little while ago and I'm starting to make dinner. I'm just defrosting some salmon and then I'll make some rice and veggies, throw some teriyaki sauce on it. And that's just like one of my go-to normal meals I have. Tuesday. So today is the first day in a long time that I feel like I actually have my shit together and it's only 9 a.m. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but my sleep schedule has been so off. I've been going to bed way too late and then waking up late and it's just been like this continuous cycle of feeling like I'm in an awful rut that I can't get out of. But today is a good day. I already did my makeup. I got kind of dressed. I have my coffee, um, which I did already take a sip of. It is delicious. And I'm just gonna get started on some emails and kind of like make my final to-do list for the day. But it is literally January 11th and I just now feel like my new year is like getting off to a good start. That was kind of the whole point of this vlog and I've honestly tried to film two or three other vlogs with like the exact same theme, but every time I tried it, I honestly just stayed in my funk and I didn't get out and I couldn't figure out what it is. But I feel like, you know, I really just had to take some time to myself and not put as much pressure on myself to feel like I need to change all of my habits and make all of these new New Year's resolutions and like it's just not realistic for me to like completely turn around my life or my habits in like a day and I think just like putting that unnecessary pressure on myself to have an amazing start to the new year it really just did the opposite for me so I'm glad that I'm in a much better headspace now to just like take each day as it comes and try and have a more positive mindset um I also saw a quote yesterday that I'm like totally gonna butcher it wasn't really a quote but it was just a reminder that um you know going into the new year you're not always going to have motivation but you can have self-discipline and that really stuck with me because i think sometimes i rely too much on motivation and like my mood of the day and just like oh i'll do things like when i feel motivated or i'll do things like on a good day when i feel super productive and then i have days where i literally don't do diddly squat and especially in freelance where I have to be self-disciplined. I'm basically my own boss who 
holds myself accountable for everything I do. Um, I can't just rely on motivation. I have to have the discipline every day to still do the hard things even if I don't want to. And so that's something that I also wanna keep in mind going into this year. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and get started with work for the day. But I just wanted to check in with you guys really quick and be just like real and honest about how the start of my new year has gone and just how I've been feeling lately. I feel like so many people have also been feeling that way going into the new year that it's not super exciting. It's not like, oh my gosh, new year, new beginning. It's just like, okay, new year, same same shit. You know what, we just have to push through and focus on the things that we can control because that's all we really can do. And you know, in times of like uncertainty or when things aren't really going my way, I just have to remind myself that the only things I should really worry about are the things that I can control and the things that I can't control. Why am I worrying about them? There's nothing I can do about it. But I can focus on the things that I can control. I can make the best of it. I can try and have a good day every day and have a positive mindset and that is the best that I could do. Okay, I'm gonna get to work now. Wednesday. Apologies for not filming very much yesterday. I realized I just left it off like I think basically after the morning um, when I like checked in with you guys. I honestly didn't do anything exciting yesterday. I was just on the computer all day on my couch um, doing a bunch of work so there is like literally nothing to report and that's exactly what we're doing today as well. Um, it's gonna be a really really busy day actually. I have a lot of things to get done. Also today is going to be hair wash day so please don't mind the appearance. I really wanted to take a shower this morning and like actually wash my hair but I realized that I have my hair cut tomorrow morning and I have to show up with clean and dry hair so hair washing is gonna have to wait another 24 hours today is just gonna look kind of gross but anyways proud of myself i've stuck to one of my new year's resolutions and i ate breakfast before i did anything else today i woke up super hungry because last night's dinner while it was delicious by the way made it all myself i don't think it had very many carbs in it so i was so hungry when i woke up this morning um, I also made my Chamberlain coffee for the day. I kind of feel like I have a little bit of brain fog this morning. Like I did everything I needed to do to try and get myself in like the right productive and clear mindset. Like I took a shower, I ate breakfast, I did a face mask because my skin, I don't know if you guys can see, but it has just been like so stubborn lately and has been breaking out like even though it shouldn't be and I don't know why. And the Kate Somerville, um, acne line is my favorite. I use the facial cleanser every single day and then I use the mask just whenever I'm breaking out. Works so well. But yeah, I did all of that. I made my bed. I cleaned up my room a little bit. And then when I sat down on my computer, I was still just like, oh, okay. <laughs> So yeah, we'll try and power through. Maybe I just need to drink more coffee. I don't really know yet. But yeah, I'll check back in with you guys soon. Hey guys, good evening. I was just trying to remember the last time I checked in with you guys. Um, I think it was around the time I was getting ready to head to the gym and I did go, it was an amazing glute day, actually kind of like a full body day. Um, I'll put on here just like the workout that I did today. Yeah, I did a little bit of everything. I was honestly just vibing. I knew that I wanted to go to the gym, get some serotonin, get my body moving and get in a good workout. So I kind of just like threw something together based on what I was feeling. But yeah, I had a super good workout. Then I came back and finished up some work for the day. Then took a shower because I felt so gross after the gym um, and just put on a cute little outfit for going to dinner and drinks tonight with some friends. Pretty sure I wore this same outfit earlier this week, or at least a very similar version of it. But yeah, I'm just cleaning up my apartment, trying to get everything together before I head out for the night. And yeah, I'm super excited to get my hair cut tomorrow. Um, that's probably when I'll see you guys again, is on my way to my hair appointment for a little before and after. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. <music> Sorry, 
I am absolutely shivering right now. It is like 30 degrees outside and I just sat in a coffee shop for like two hours. But here's the thing, coffee shops in Oregon, I swear, do not believe in heating in the winter time. Like they just straight up do not. My hands were so cold the whole time. But coffee shops are like the only place I feel like I can be productive lately. Anyways, also this clip is being filmed way after the rest of the vlog. Um, I've been editing up the vlog this week and just wanted to add like a little more content and what I've been up to and stuff like that. So anyway, sorry, I'm like literally chattering right now. I am so cold. But anyways, yeah, it's Monday. I just got done working at a coffee shop for a bit. Just doing a bunch of like miscellaneous stuff, trying to get myself prepped for the week. And now I'm gonna head to downtown Portland. I need to go pick up an online order at Nordstrom. And then I also wanted to stop by Zara, which is really bad of me, but I think that their winter sale is finally over. And so hopefully they have a lot of new stock in and I really wanna get another pair of the wide leg jeans. They're my absolute favorite. I wear them all the time. So yeah, anyways, I am gonna wait for my car to heat up and then get on my way. Hey guys, I just got back to my apartment. I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm gonna eat for lunch. I think if the lighting stays good in my apartment, I'm gonna try and film some like what's new in my wardrobe hauls and stuff like that. I definitely need to get a new YouTube video out and just like have a bunch of stuff to share. Also, don't mind the shoes on my counter. I promise I have not worn them yet. Um, they're just for a little unboxing that I did on my Instagram, which I actually still need to post, I just realized. Anyways, um, I totally forgot to film in Zara today, but also my hands were just full of so much stuff. They had a lot of good stuff. I did get one of the pairs of jeans I was talking about earlier, but I accidentally bought them in a size bigger than I originally wanted to. But at the same time, my old ones are getting a little bit small now that I'm going to the gym more often. So I don't really know. I'm gonna do a try on of everything that I got. So I'll be sharing that stuff soon in a YouTube video anyways. But yeah, that's just a little bit of my day. I feel like literally all I do every day is work, go to the gym or like spend money. That's basically what I do with my day. <laughs> but yeah, today's been a pretty good day so far. We're just gonna keep chugging along. I should actually just start unpacking some of my boxes and what's new in my wardrobe and stuff and put that all up to start planning my content. So yeah, let's get to it. Hi guys, it's been a little bit since I checked in. Um, my boyfriend actually came over and surprised me with making lunch today, which was so nice because the last time I was recording, I think I was trying to figure out what I was gonna eat for lunch. I had absolutely no idea, but he ran by Trader Joe's and got us some stuff and made a really yummy lunch. Um, and so now I just kind of got back into the swing of work and stuff, but I thought that I would give you a little preview of what content I'm gonna have coming up. A lot of it will probably actually be live once this vlog goes up. I'm not really sure yet, but I'll kind of show you like the planning process, I guess. So I kind of switch between filming in um, my office and my bedroom, just depending on what I'm feeling. But I have this Ikea rack that is stocked for right now. I actually am thinking of buying a second one so I can have one in my office and then one in my bedroom. But I have a bunch of different clothes laid out on here right now. Um, I have some new in stuff from Zara and H&M that I'm gonna be doing in a haul very soon. And then all of this right here is for a really Really fun campaign I'm doing with Abercrombie. I just unboxed all of it, hung it up, kind of organized it by um, the outfits that I am going to be filming and then I need to steam all of that before tomorrow as well. But this is like kind of how I stay organized. I wish I had little like tabs or something I could put on top to write down what is what and keep everything even more organized. But um, yeah, I kind of just prep all of my outfits, leave like any shoes or accessories I need down there. Um, and then I'll set up my tripod behind me and just film in this little corner in my office. So yeah, that's a little bit of what I'm going to be doing today. I really just need to finish up a lot of computer work for the rest of the day. I need to edit this vlog and export it, get all of that off of my laptop. I'm not gonna be able to film any of the videos that that stuff is for until I finish the vlog and like clear off storage on my laptop. So I actually really need to do that tonight. I'm gonna go run, I think, to Target and Home Goods later today and 
yeah, that's basically my day. I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here though before it gets too long. And yeah, if you guys are still watching, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I would love to do more vlogs in the future. Hopefully I can stay out of this New Year's funk and the imposter syndrome and all of that because that's really what's been keeping me from creating more content, unfortunately. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.